Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. It's a very chilly day, but at least there's no wind. Yesterday, I got these door jams in on the big door here. And today, I'm gonna try to get the door jams for this door and that door in place. So how I've been doing that is I take out these temporary boards and I believe they're about eight inches. So what I do is cut a new board for that and pocket screw it and connect it to a standard lumber board. I connect it with pocket screws on the back side, no glue or anything. And then once it's connected nice and tight like that, I add this splice board to the back. That makes it incredibly strong. The reason for the treated wood down here is that this is in contact with concrete. And if you have regular wood like this in contact with concrete, it's just gonna rot out really, really quick. So the first thing I need to do is pull these temporary boards out. Then I need to run across to the shed and bring all my lumber over here and I'll start making some like extra long jam pieces. They'll go up to about here. And then once I have one of those in place, like once I have this one in place, I'll mark it from the concrete up 82 and a half inches. I'll get the other one in place and put a level line across and mark that one, get that one cut, and then I'll get a header cut that's gonna go all the way across. I'll show all that in just a minute.
Okay, I have the extensions on all of the jams. This is for all of the rest of the doors. And now I gotta take these out. But on these front two openings, there is a diagonal brace that goes from the bottom of this skirt all the way up to the top up there. And that'll go right near the door here. But the problem is the header goes all the way across. So it's gonna have to be notched for that. So I gotta get these braces in first. So I'm gonna go grab some lumber, cut the braces, get those installed. Then I can start working on the doors. Okay, that is gonna wrap it up. I have one door, well, partially done. I got the jams in and I got the header on. Got this all notched out for the bracing. Well, I got the two braces in as well, but I have all this stuff ready to go. That's a big deal. I should be able to blast right through this. Like this one right here will probably take Oh, maybe a little over an hour. So what has to go on here now, there's a two by four that goes all the way from the end of this all the way across to here, right on the top of this. And that'll stiffen up the top of the door frame. And then these girts will get cut out right at the opening. And then filler boards are gonna be added they're not gonna be this big, but filler boards are gonna be added in between the girts, just like that. All right, got a good amount done. Okay, so tomorrow we have high winds. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be able to get done, but depending on the direction, I might be able to work on that other door and be out of the wind tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be warmer than today, so if that's the case, then it won't be that bad. The day after that, we're running to get the red tin for the upper parts here, the gables. And I don't think much else that day. And then I'll be working on these doors again the day after that, which I think is Thanksgiving. But 
can't tell you for sure. So if you want to see all that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Good catch.